Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at some of the features of 7.1. And I just want to start this out by saying if you are jailbroken and you want to keep your jailbreak, do not update to 7.1. You will not be able to jailbreak on 7.1. The first thing I'm going to show you about one of my favorite features of 7.1 is the new power slider. When you power off the device, you get a new power slider right here. You see that's much different than it was before. And also on the lock screen down here, you can see the animation is a lot different as it slides across the slide to unlock. So let's go ahead to the inside of the phone and look around some of the settings. And one other thing they have done is they've added the ability to turn on and off the parallax effect. When you add your new wallpapers, let me show you how to do that. So if we go into our settings and we're going to choose a new wallpaper here just to show you how this works. You see down here at the bottom you get this perspective zoom on and you tap it to turn it off. So if you want that on or off you can choose that and that will turn that off or on however you want to do that. Another thing they have done is they, they have updated the icons for FaceTime, phone, and iMessage. All of the green icons they're referring to have been updated a little bit, and they just have a little bit different gradient on them. And inside here in the settings menu, we now have a dedicated location for passcode and if you have touch ID on a 5s it'll have it here with passcode as well so you ha you don't have to dig around in the settings menu to find your passcode to turn that on and off anymore it makes it a lot easier and a lot faster to do also in the phone app if we go into the keypad here you see we have a new dial button at the bottom this was a big square or rectangle at the bottom now it's that little round circle you see that's another thing they updated they've also done a lot of things inside the calendar app and if you are a person that uses the calendar app a whole lot then this is going to be something that you're really going to enjoy having uh, if we go into the calendar here you see up here at the top we have a little icon if we tap that that's going to show all of our events in a list down here at the bottom and if we wanted to go to any one of those to edit it or delete it or whatever we could just tap it and it would take us right to it it also does that uh, they've also changed up the dock some inside settings if you go to accessibility under settings and go to accessibility uh, you first need to go to general of course and uh, before we go to the dock let's talk about this bold text button right here so if we enable that and, and tap continue let's go turn this on and it's gonna make all I didn't realize that it required a respring but looks like it does but that won't take just a second it's gonna make all of your text bold plus it's gonna make all of the text on your keyboard bold as well so if we go to the notes app and pull up our keyboard you see that looks a lot bolder there and it makes reading the text a lot better or easier to me anyway and that's just a little added feature you get okay also in 7.1 you have what's called card display and you can turn it on and off by going into the settings menu and going to the restrictions and you first have to set a passcode and you have to turn on or turn it on or off right here's CarPlay so if you have a car that you can use this on you can link it up with your car and and change the music take phone calls uh, hear your phone calls come through your car speakers that kind of stuff but it's going to all depend on whether or not your car is compatible with your phone or not. So that's going to be uh, the big thing you need to be aware of there. Also in the photos, you have the option to upload all of the burst mode photos. 
which makes it a lot better if you are a uh, person who likes to share a lot of photos and do that kind of stuff. And also in the camera app, you have the ability to turn on and off the uh, HDR. You get it as well. Uh, that's another feature they've added in here. And mostly just a lot of things they've done is just added a lot of different things with animations. You see the, that the control center has, has a bounce to it. When you pull it up now, it don't just slide up. It's got that little bounce at the end. And the sliders, you can slide those by just swiping and letting go. And they're calling that a kinetic scroll, I think is what it was referred to. And also in the notifications, you see we have a new display here, no missed notifications. And same thing here would be for today, but we had a notification, but we haven't missed any. So you see what that looks like as well. Um, I think that's pretty much about all of it, guys. The, the, the big features anyway, there's a lot of different things little small things that you will recognize as you get more involved the photos app has been updated they have added a little more color circles in in that icon just small things such as that and uh you'll get to know that once you get to using 7.1 yourself hope you enjoyed the video guys please hit that subscribe button before you leave share this on facebook and twitter it really helps us out and keep coming back